All right, so here's our setup. I have all of our paints. I've got an assortment of paint brushes, a spray bottle, um, a cup of water, some wet wipes, a very cute bystander, paper towels, and we are ready to get started. All right, hello, customer I've never met before. Hello, <laughs> hello, man that I've never be met before. All right, what would you like on your face? Um, a rainbow and can I have pom-poms on my cheek? A rainbow and pom-poms, okay, we can do that. So I'm just gonna spray a little bit of water in each of the colors that I plan to use. <clears throat> and we'll get started. Now, we're gonna start with just the um, the basic colors. Okay. And, and we'll do that first. And then at the end, I'll go back and add any detail or lines to it to make it look a little more finished. Start with, what color is the first color in the rainbow? Red. Red. Have you ever heard of the story of the rainbow in the Bible? Well, yes. What do you know about it? So, Noah built an ark, and so it was a big flood, and so he took, he took two of each animal, every kind of animal in the ark, and a girl and a boy of each kind of animal. And so it, they, it rained and rained for 40 days and 40 nights. Mm -hmm. And so... It flooded to where you couldn't see anything. It was dish water and it was raining and storming and really bad storm. And, and then God sent a rainbow out to the sky mm -hmm. for a promise that he would never flood the earth again. Wow. You know what? God's promises are true because he has not ever flooded the whole earth again like that. We can trust God's promises, can't we? Mm -hmm. I forgot to ask you what your name is. What's your name? Elizabeth. You know what? I'm not Elizabeth. Oh, wait. It's you. <laughs> <laughs> I also know of another Elizabeth from the Bible. Did you know that there's an Elizabeth in the Bible? No. There is. She was Mary's cousin. Do you know who Mary is? Oh, yeah. The Jesus. Jesus is mom. Uh-huh. Well, she had a cousin named Elizabeth, and you know what was special about Elizabeth? Why? She had a baby around the same time that Mary had a baby, and his name was John, and they called him John the Baptist. Have you heard about that? Uh-huh. He baptized people. Mm-hmm. He did do that. He also ate funny things. Do you know what he ate? No. He ate locusts, which are bugs. Yeah. You think he would want to eat bugs? No. Probably not. What if he ate bees? Ooh, that would hurt going down, wouldn't yeah. it? Yeah. His throat, too. It would hurt his throat. Yeah, it kind of would. Mom, I can't wait to do buzz like this. Oh, it's going to be great. Yeah. Now, one thing to remember when we're painting faces is faces are not still. Faces are wiggly. We try to keep them as still as possible, but... They're going to be wiggling, and that's okay. But we have to really be careful when we get close to the eyes because we don't want to poke an eyeball. Mom, I can't wait to do Bud Light. Mm -hmm. I'm going to do Bud Light, yeah, since I like it. So, what's one of your favorite stories from the Bible that you know? Mine? Mm hmm. John 3.16. Oh, what's that one? Can you close your eyes for me? John 3.16. For God so loved the world that he says, one and only son that he must believe in him should not perish but have eternal life. Oh, that's such a great one. I really love that one too. Well, why? Mama, I can't wait to do a like yet. Alright, almost done with the rainbow part. Bring it down just a little bit here. That looks like a mask. It does look like a mask, doesn't it? Yeah. Right now, what color are clouds, Elizabeth? I know, white. Right, so let's add some clouds there at the bottom. Okay. Well, that's black. 
You know what? I'm also, the cloud makes me think about another story in the Bible. Did you know, look this way. Did you know that there is a story about a big cloud in the Bible that God uses? No. There is. There's a story about when God is helping his people go from Egypt to the promised land and his presence goes with them and the daytime is in a cloud. Wow, that's cool. I know. He shows them where they're supposed to go and they follow that cloud and know that they're going the right direction. So now I'm going to take a really skinny brush and I'm going to add just a little bit of outline on the rainbow just to kind of frame it up, okay? That looks like steel mask. Mm -hmm. That looks like a pilot mask now. That looks like a pilot mask. It looks like a pirate mask? Yeah. That's funny. Whatever you do, please don't get it in my hair. I'm not. Close your eyes. And whatever we do get is very, very washable. So it's going to come off your face really easily when you're ready for it to go away. But why? Well, it doesn't last forever. But we can enjoy it for a little while. Mine now, sometimes a fun thing to add at the bottom of a, a rainbow or around a rainbow are some little sparkles. I don't have any glitter with me, but if I had glitter, I would probably add a little bit on top of what you have there, and then I would add just a few little starbursts like that. And like that. And hold your chin up just a little bit. Do one down here. Like that. So pretty. You're so beautiful. But you're not that. All right, so on this side, I'm going to do a butterfly. And so sometimes, most of the time, we like to do a butterfly where you have the butterfly top wings here and the butterfly bottom wings here, and your whole face is a butterfly. But sometimes it also looks pretty to do a butterfly on just half of your face so that it looks like the butterfly's wings are together and it's looking this direction. So that's what I'm going to do today on this side. And then um, you can always just do both sides together to be a full front on butterfly. Let me show you how to do that. Okay, so we'll start with, what color butterfly do you want? Um, I'll take blue. Do blue, okay. So I'm gonna use a skinnier brush at first and make my outline of the shape. So just close your eyes for me and hold your chin up. And I'm just going to go around the eye and come out to a point like this. A lot of the designs have this shape around the eye. So like some of the Spider-Man masks and things like that have that shape to begin with. Okay. And then I'm going to do at the so bottom. Is it, is it a Spider-Man mask? I'm just going to come and out. a Spider-Man mask? Like this. It's not, no, this is not a Spider-Man mask. I'm making her a butterfly. Like this, and then back up like this. That looks like a spy mask. Yeah. Spy has lost those. Mm hmm Like here. All right, I'm just gonna color that My in. My mom's gonna sleep. You can go get a drink. I'll get my hat on now. It's gonna fill I'll get my hat on now. Okay, buddy. All right, when you close your eyes. So you're perfectly safe to go on the eyelid. Okay, I'm not ready for you yet. You're perfectly safe to go on the eyelid. I just wouldn't get super close to the eyes. You don't want to go it all the way in the eye, but when you're doing the top, you just want them to close their eyes. And you're just brushing lightly. It Mom, goes on really smoothly. I did it this way. Look, Mama. And then when you want to get under the eye, you're going to ask them to look up. So not with your chin. Keep your chin down. Open your eyes. Keep your chin down. Chin down. Chin down. 
There you go. And look up. I'm going to go underneath while you look up. I don't see it in her eyes. No. There we go. Mama. Mama. All right. Now, I'm going to create... I'm going to create the... Um, like this should be a little more full on this side over here. Feels good? Yeah. Feels so nice. Okay. Oh, <laughs> Sorry. You okay? Don't do that. Don't get in your arm. Okay. So I'm going to create the body now, the front of the butterfly. Just with like a, um, almost like a little. I don't really know what to call that, but just a little line. And the bottom, you kind of come to a point at the bottom around the nose. And then just a little circle. It doesn't even have to be attached. It can be kind of whimsical. And then two little swirlies. When do you do mine? Like this. And Where then I'm going to do yours next, yeah. buddy. Then I'm also going to kind of create an effect of a second wing being back here. You don't have to do that, but I'm going to go for it. We're going to see how it looks. All right. So you just kind of come out and outline. And when we go back at the end and add those outline details, we can separate those two things so that it'll be clear that's a, a separate wing. So let's go look at it from the side. I need Yeah, I can do that. Alright, so now it's got some like two little points there. Okay, so what other color do you like besides blue? Maybe purple? Can you blend some purple in there? Um, Don't get on your dress. Sure. Alright, it should wash off of clothes if it gets on clothes, but let's try not to get it on clothes. Okay, I'll look this way. So I'm going to add just some other colors in there. You can add purple, you can do like light to kind of lighten it up. So I've added a little of an extra color in there just to give it a really pretty blended look there. And now I'm gonna go back and add the detail around it just to separate out the wings and give it that final little look that it needs with the black. But I found the field. Right, I'm just gonna go around but the I edges. Found the field. Oh, you found some? Yeah. ever have any smudges like this one from my finger just a little wet wipe rub it right there and it will be 
gone. All right. Then you can also add a little <clears throat> white if you wanted to. Like around the edge. But any of that little accent, those accent lines, just kind of help to set the uh, drawing apart. a beautiful butterfly. <laughs> All right, turn this way. Oh, not you. <laughs> there we go. There. All right, now full front face. I forgot she asked for polka dots, so we're going to add a few polka dots. Just a few. Oh, this is cool, Mama. This is cool. This is cool. Um, this is cool. Yeah. This is pretty. Cool. All right, I have a new face paint customer. Hello. How are you? Good. What's your name? Marshall. All right, Marshall. You got a lot of hair up here in your face. So what I'm gonna do to make sure I can get to all the places I would want to paint your face is put this super cool hat on so that we can keep your hair out of your face. Is that okay? All right, I need you to look at me, okay? Because I'm gonna paint your face, so I need to be able to see your little face. All right, what would you like on your face? Buzz Lightyear. Buzz Lightyear. Now, this is one I've never done before, so I had to look it up. So I found this picture when I Googled Buzz Lightyear face paint, so this is what we're gonna attempt. So I see I'm gonna use um, some green around can, the eyes. Can I do um, on my belly? On your belly? Uh, we're not doing belly paint right now, but maybe later. That might be fun. Okay, so I'm gonna use green around your eyes. So look here, and it looks like it just kind of goes at an angle up. Is that tickle? All right, try not to move where it's gonna be a bumpy buzz light here. All right, and we're just gonna go at an angle up the forehead and around to the bottom of the eye because it's like a mask. And this one, Goes down, look at me, goes down the bridge of the nose. <laughs> Is that funny? And then across the bottom, leading over here to this basic shape. And we're gonna do on both sides. So look here. Up. I <laughs> know. Uh, up the forehead. Around, look this way. Around the eye. Down to meet from the nose. Okay, so can we look? This is what we got so far. So let's even it out. Look here. So we're going to even it out. Go a little higher over here. And I'm not going to spend too much time trying to get it perfect with a legally three year old because at the end, they love it no matter what. They love it so much. So I don't want to waste a whole bunch of time trying to get it perfect because there are other kids probably waiting in line if you're doing this for multiple children. So in this design, we do not put color super close to the eye. So basically from the eyebrow up and then just a leap a little bit like that. Oh, mommy, so let's you need to make it equal. I'm going to. So now look this direction for me, buddy. Look over this way. There we go. All right, we're gonna fill in this side. What, what does Buzz Lightyear say? What's something that he says? Do you know? Uh -huh. You don't know? To infinity. What does he say? To infinity. To infinity and beyond. All right, look this way. Cool. He's a pretty cool guy. I actually, um, what? Look this way. Look this way and you can tell me. You usually what? Never mind. No, oh, never mind. All right, 
So I've got the green part almost finished. Let's round that out down there. Okay. Now, get my picture back up over here. Okay. Now I need a big white section and I'm gonna model how to use this sponge for this. I'm just gonna dab it in the water and get it a little bit wet and rub it across the top of the white color. Why anytime, do you need white? Anytime you're doing like a full face mask, like if you're doing a Spider-Man or something like that where you want the whole face, that's when the sponges are really, really good. Um, but I'll just, just to kind of model how that works for you. Um, you would dab it on a large surface area uh, a little faster than you can a brush. But honestly, I like to use the brushes just as much. So it's really up to you. So let's get a little more white and clean and do that. Uh-oh. It's okay. She's uh-oh-ing because my brush didn't get all the way cleaned off and some green got on the white. Just take a wet wipe if that happens and dab it on the top of the paint and then clean the brush out a little bit better. One thing we've done when we've done... Um, the mission projects and painted the faces is we've had a couple of people that their main job was just to go around and check the water for all the painters because it gets kind of yucky pretty quickly. And they their job was just to pour out the yucky water and replenish it with some clean water to keep it fresh for the painters. And that's a good thing for people to do who don't feel like they can tackle the artistic side and um, they can still contribute and make sure all the supplies are replenished and is that face good. paint on his face? It is, just like yours. So it's got that white section, and then there's going to be a little blue, kind of like a rainbow shape um, at the top. Is it going to be still on? Yeah, it's on, on your face? Yeah. Yeah, it's on there. No, when I'm, when I'm moving around and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, when you're moving around and all that kind of stuff, it will still be on your face. I need you to look at me. Now, after you take your bath, it will not be on your face anymore. Why? Well, it does wash off. Hi. It just, it's not made to last forever, but you can enjoy it for a little while. For a day or two? Mm, probably not two, probably just one. Mm. And then... We can do belly painting. Maybe we could do belly painting another time. Yeah. All right, so there's that Is part. That a belly painting? Okay, and then I, I see... Um, no, he's wearing a Buzz Lightyear shirt on his tummy. All right, then I see there's like a red circle at the top. Maybe one of his lasers. Does he have lasers? Does Buzz Lightyear have lasers? Look at me, Mom. Look at me. Can I do it on my arm? Uh, I can paint something on your arm in just a minute. I can do the lasers. You want to do a laser on your arm? Okay, look at me. Look here. Look at me. Look at my face. Look at my nose. Where's my nose? Did you find it? All right, look at it. Keep looking at it. Do you know who made my nose? Hold on. Who do you think? God. He did. Who made your nose? Look at God. me. God. God did? He sure did. Uh -huh. Nope, you gotta keep that up because that's gonna keep the hair off of your face paint. Let go, let me put it back on. Ellie Buck, can you please sit down? Mm. All right, now look here. Now we've got to add some white on the cheeks and a little bit of purple. Keep it way up here. There we go. All right, so we're gonna come around. Look here. From this point and this point, and come down to a point. Do it again on this side. Can you can you look at this shoulder right here and see what see if you if something will land on my shoulder? You think a fly might land on my shoulder? Keep an eye on it. You never know. If a fly lands on my shoulder, you need to tell me, okay? Say shoe fly. Okay. Right. No, honey. All right. Then we need a little bit of purple to add to that. Why? Because that's what the design has. Look at my face. Look at my face, please. Look at my face. Eyes on my face. See if you can find a freckle on my face. Do I have a freckle on my face anywhere? Yeah. Look and see. Do I have one? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Look. And 
then it's not big I'm gonna add a couple more buttons Bye. on the mask, like a blue button up here, like a square shape or a circle, and then a little red one. You do usually like T-Rexes? Yeah. Okay, I could probably do maybe one on your arm. Yeah. All right. And, so, I, and I have my second on a um, laser. A laser. Yeah, we still have to get that laser. Now I'm going to finish it up with all the black lines, the outlines of everything. So I'm just going to kind of go around all the main parts. It doesn't have to be exactly in line, but just kind of framing everything up. Look here. I promise when it's done, I'm gonna let you look at it, okay? But it's not done yet, so we don't wanna look. I gotta smudge. Okay, still not done, so let me keep working on this side over here. Look that way. Perfect. The ticket lean. Okay, and then a few. Look this way. A few, look this way. A few detail lines here and here. Okay, and then another few here. Here. Mom, that's it. And then you got some. It's okay. I can wipe your fingers off in just a minute. Okay, look this way. Okay, Buzz Lightyear, take a look to infinity and beyond. Now let's get that laser on your arm. And then the dinosaur. Okay, let's do a laser real quick. And then a dot. It's just really, it's really easy. Just a dot. Laser. Uh oh. How can I um, use it? How can I use it? Got a laser right there. So you have to push. You mean make you a button that you have to push? Yeah. Okay. So. Yeah. Hold on, be still. All right, there's your button that you can push and it will fire your laser, but you have to wait till it dries. Can you pump on mine? Okay. So um, Elizabeth would like a pink pom pom, but I don't have a pink color. So I wanted to tell you that you can also mix colors. So what I do is I use the end of my brush and dig out just a little bit of white and a little bit of red and get it wet and I'm going to mix them together to make her a pink color like a palette. So you may want to have some paper plates or something there to be able to do this on or we use like butcher foam sometimes uh, like meat, meat trays. Um, we've used that before or just paper plates um, but pom-pom is really nice and easy just a little Thing like this, uh -huh. and then just a second, buddy. Is your laser dry? Touch it. Can... Touch it. Oh. Oh, I fired the laser. All right, then, and then you can. It dry? Mm -hmm. Then you can add, you know, some different colors in there. This is always good when we're doing outreaches that are like Fourth of July or something like that because well, you, know, you can do, love light. you know, fireworks kind of similarly, but. 
All right, that's it. And you can add some like white streaks to it if you wanted to. But just start from the middle and work out and it kind of gives it a fluffy look. Fluffy? Fluffy.